Okay guys, Aqua FX time by Futon or Futon, whichever. It's Futon, isn't it? Like the chair. Yeah, Futon, like the chair. Comes in this lovely box, very iPhone esque. What do you get in that lovely box? All these gorgeous pieces right here. Right, so if I can remember, I'm going to tell you each one of these parts. So we'll start here, base section with your 510 insulator this is your body section of your atomizer head 510 portion what goes inside the atomizer head and makes connection the top cap for the atomizer head we then have these two ceramic vertical cups one comes pre-installed at 0.4 and you have a coil in your spares cotton bag that is 1 ohm. We then come on to the top portion of our base section what has the juice channels and the airflow channel. We have here our coiling rod and this is our coiling tool to remove our coils or to install our coils. We then come on to the bottom part of the tank slash chimney section and moving this up and down on the upper part of the base section controls your juice and your airflow simultaneously. We then have our two tank options which is 5mm, 3mm we have our extension piece for our 5mm. We have the bottom part of our top cap with the channels where we, nice generous channels where, where you can fill up. This is our upper portion which will seal it. We then have our two piece drip tip. The bottom portion is made out of Ultim, I think it's called, that kind of honey coloured um, high resistant plastic that is the new peak basically as how I gap it, gather it and this is a stainless steel like crowning cap for it just to make it look pretty. In our bags you we get a full o-rings pack. What I like about these o-rings is called the aqua and look at the colour see what they're thinking there like it. In here we have the cotton strips that they provide you but you don't once you run out of these don't panic you can build it with the general types of cotton that all vapors use that's the rundown of the parts I'm going to move on to building a coil and then we'll put this together and then I'll tell you what I think about it just a quick addition you do get this lovely pamphlet explaining how to do everything inside the box Plus, in the description, I will put a breakdown of what all the parts are made out of. Right, let's get on with building this coil. First of all, I'm going to take my coil itself. In your pack, you're going to get two lengths of cotton, a longer piece and a shorter, thicker piece. We're going to start with the long piece first. We're going to take this and wrap it three times around our coil. Just like that. We're going to take the coil, hold our little silicon, not silicon, ceramic cup. And if you notice on one of the sides, it's got two little grooves. And that's where we want our leads to go. I'm just gonna pop that in there. Like so. Trying to keep our cotton in place. We're then gonna take our little C clamps
and on the back of the city clamp there's a little groove and we want to get that groove over our wire which can be a little bit fiddly not gonna lie but you seem to wrestle with it and then all of a sudden it will just pop on like that do that with both clips and then we're going to have something that looks like that now we need to wrap the remainder of the cotton around our little ceramic base or cup. Once that's done, second piece of cotton. And we're going to wrap that round as well. Put that down for a minute. Take our body section of our atomizer head. Take our 510 pin and pop that down the middle. If you can't get it to sit, take your little rod, poke it down so it's like that. But they're going to pick. Oh, my coils come apart. Has it? No. Well, rescue. Oof. So you, you coil like that and we're going to pop it in our coil head. If you give it a twist against the way you've wrapped your cotton wad in, it will go in a bit easier. And then if you feel that your outer cotton is popping up while you're pushing your, coil, your ceramic cup down, just give it a little push around the edges with a little pokey tool you know like a sharp point of a tweezer or something of that manner Don't rush it, don't force it, because you'll end up pushing the cotton out. But once it's in, like that, take your top cap and screw it on. Now make sure this is all the way down. You will feel a bit of resistance. Don't worry, it's not dodgy threads. It's because them little clamps we put on the top, they're your positive and negative connection. And they have to press fit into the top of this. 510 pin and the top of that top cap that's what's making our connection in our atomizer but once that's nice and down and you haven't got a gap between the body and the top cap we're ready for a set assembly just before we assemble this just want to prime the coil so I'm just going to drop some juice and the top of the coil head with the, with the top cap off and you just want to do this until you see the little slots on the side start to get saturated Job done. Right now we can get to assembling the actual tank. So I'm going to build the tank section first. So I'm going to take my preferred tank size, which is a 3 mil. So I don't need the extension here. Bottom part, the top cap on. Like 
nip that up, lovely. I'm not going to put the uh, upper portion on because I've still yet to fill it. Then I'm going to take the upper part of the base section and screw that right the way down because that's the position we need it in for filling. Airflow and juice flow cut off. We can then take our coil head, we just pop it in there and this is where this little tool comes into play. It's got two little flat cutouts either side on the bottom of the coil head. Two little notches on there. And just tighten it up. You can actually do it with your fingers. It's just a lot easier with that tool. I'm going to take our bottom portion of our base section. Just take your time with this. Make sure you're not cross-threading it. Because sometimes it goes on at a funny angle. There we go. Right, now we can fill out with juice. Really easy. It would be really difficult to uh, get juice down the side of this tank. It is so easy to fill up. Then our upper portion of our top cap. Once I've got it on a little bit, I like to turn it up the other way and then open up my juice flow, my airflow and my juice flow, should I say. Pop the drip tip on. And we're ready to go right I now talk about how I feel about this atomizer I think this is a great atomizer for the price this cost me 43.99 delivered to my door and that's PayPal fees included um, I ordered this from a there's the official UK seller that I found through Futon's own Facebook page was a uh, a Facebook group you join it's called Aqua FX UK sales I'll put a link in the description to both of them groups um, I spoke to the guy I think his name's Eki it's a foreign name if I'm pronouncing that wrong I'm sorry um, really good buying experience completely happy with it as for the way this looks I really like the way this tank looks the only thing I'm not too sure on it is this top portion it's got like a triangle cut out piece here I would have liked to see them copy this knurled design on the bottom part of the tank slash chimney section up here because you'd have still got um, a purchase on that but other than that I really like the way this tank looks and as for the way this performs if you like an open drawer and you like vaping at say 25 to 30 watts you are going to get a lovely consistent moist dense flavorful vape out of this where I haven't been able to get this to perform at is below that I mean I usually am a loose mouth to lung inhaler and I vape at about 18 watts I've only had this for 24 hours but I'm yet to find a build that works at that kind of wattage but if you're in that upper range this is going to do you very well I really like this product and it's only early days and this is just a first impression but it's been consistent I've not had any dry hits I've not had any flooding so that's all I've got on the Aqua FX and I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one